Well, surely you've seen the television ads. It is clear, especially in the local race for state rep in District 45, that the partisan divide in the national races is influencing how those candidates campaign for your votes. How are you doing, lady? On a Friday evening, three days before the polls open, Patrick Rose is pounding the pavement. I've got uh, a tremendous amount of shoe leather mm -hmm. on the ground in this district. After eight years as the state rep for Hayes, Caldwell, and Blanco counties, Rose is still shaking a lot of hands. I'm a great supporter of you. It's my, it's my pleasure to work for you. What's, you. what's your name? Across town at a tailgate party for the San Marcos High School Rattlers football team, Rose's opponent, Jason Isaac, is shaking hands, too. Mr. Bobcats for Isaac shirts. All right, all right. This is how he's getting his name out to voters. Thanks for coming out to the Rattlers tailgate. They may be all smiles, but the race between these two has turned ugly. A liberal thorn in our side. An ad for Isaac clearly plays into the national political climate and pictures Rose next to Barack Obama. My bipartisan approach is one that differentiates me from my opponent. Gimmicks like my opponent's tax reform scheme could force Texans to pay the highest sales tax in America. In this TV ad, Rose accuses Isaac of supporting a sales tax increase. That's one of the things that he accuses me of wanting to do is raising the sales tax, which is something I have said is not a good idea. Isaac says there's a reason Rose is campaigning so hard. I think he's grasping for straws. I think he wants to hang on to his career politician. But back on Holland Street, Rose says he's just doing what he's always done. I think now more than ever, as divisive as things are, we need people who build consensus. The one consensus in this race is that both candidates are fighting hard to win. Now, early voting for the November 2nd election, of course, begins on Monday. On our homepage at KXAN.com, there is an early voting box at the bottom of that page. That's where you'll find links to voting times and locations, as well as a connection to the League of Women Voters' nonpartisan guide to this election. Leslie?